Spring is here, and with it comes our first full month of spring gaming. April features an interesting lineup of games across a number of genres, and with no major AAA titles to really anchor the month around, it's a great opportunity to check out something new and different. My name is Kodiak, this is Legacy Gaming, and here's everything we think is worth checking out in April 2024. April kicks off with an interesting surprise, the return of the 5v5 MOBA hero shooter Gigantic. This enhanced version of the game, dubbed Rampage Edition, is set to bring back everything players loved about the original title and then some. 23 returning heroes alongside two new ones make up the launch roster. Two new maps, Picaro Bay and Heaven's Ward, give players some fresh locations to explore, and a brand new game mode, Rush, is said to pick up the pace of the action, giving players a quicker, more combat-focused experience. This time around, the team is trying to avoid making some of the critical launch decisions that ultimately caused the game's initial launch to flop. First, the game comes in at an easy-to-stomach $20, which makes sense given that this isn't exactly a new game. It's also cross-platform on day one across PC, PlayStation, and Xbox, connecting the player base right out of the gate. Finally, the game will have zero microtransactions, a massive pivot away from the original plan back in 2017. This time around, the team is clear that players will be able to obtain everything through the game's core systems. How grindy that will be, we can't say, but it certainly seems like things are trending the right direction. Broken Roads takes players to the desolate wastelands of Western Australia. The game draws inspiration from groundbreaking CRPGs like Pillars of Eternity, Disco Elysium, Wasteland, and more. The game is built around a classless system, enabling a broad spectrum of character customization options. Central to the gameplay mechanics is a moral compass, the morality system that breaks from the binary good and evil dichotomy of other games to instead reflect the character's philosophical beliefs. At its core, Broken Roads is an immersive, story-centric game, with players exploring a world replete with detailed lore, political intrigue, and moral complexities. Decisions made by the player have far-reaching consequences, shaping the narrative and leading to a multitude of potential outcomes. This is certainly a game CRPG fans will want to keep an eye on, and coming from a relatively small studio, it's impressive how detailed the game appears to be. Infection Free Zone is an interesting take on a zombie colony sim survival game. In a world ravaged by the mad virus, a contagion that transforms anything it infects into aggressive, fast, and lethal adversaries, it's your job to set up the zone and protect the population from this rising evil. The game leverages real-world map data from OpenStreetMap, allowing players to select any location across the globe as the setting for their zone, which I think is an awesome touch of realism in an otherwise bleak, fantastical game. Players are tasked with establishing and expanding their infection-free zone, converting abandoned structures into shelters and production facilities, establishing defenses, and managing resources to ensure the survival of their community amid the chaos. Nightly attacks by hordes of the infected add a constant threat, requiring players to defend their settlement with an arsenal of weapons, fortifications, and the tactical use of light. Ultimately, your goal is to try and find a cure to the mad virus, but that's only if you can survive the long and harrowing nights. Grounded is finally coming to PlayStation and Nintendo Switch, and if you don't know much about this game, oh buddy, let me tell you. Grounded is a PvE co-op survival game where you play as a carefree kid that's been shrunk down to the size of a bug, left to survive the horrors of the backyard. The game is wickedly clever, and is a title we covered for a while here on the channel, but many months and multiple updates since that time, Grounded has only grown more impressive. Each update has added new elements to the somewhat dark and twisted story, as well as new parts of the backyard to explore, and tons of new weapons and building pieces to take advantage of. The game even recently introduced the Playground mode in their Make It or Break It update, which allows players to fully customize their own backyard in a free build mode that puts player creativity and autonomy front and center. Grounded has been a stellar game since day one, and with each patch, it continues to impress. And with fresh eyeballs on the title, I have no doubt it'll continue to resonate with fans across the gaming community. Changing gears, let's talk about Europa, an indie game that takes us to the small moon orbiting Jupiter. There we find Z, an android that sets out in search of answers about the last human alive. 
What immediately captures my attention about this game is the art direction, which is simply gorgeous. It's to be expected as one of the lead developers is Helder Pinto, an environmental artist who worked on both Overwatch 2 and Crisis 2, amongst other games. As far as the gameplay is concerned, I think Europa strikes a more relaxing balance than anything else on our list today. Using various traversal skills, you'll run, glide, and fly across Europa, solving environmental puzzles in your pursuit of answers. Beyond that, it's hard to really put my finger on what else players can expect with the game, but it sure is pretty, and sometimes that's all you need when it comes to these casual, relaxing adventure games. A little more than halfway through April, Moon Studios, the legendary developers behind Ori and the Blind Forest and Ori and the Will of the Wisps, releases their third game, No Rest for the Wicked. Beside the team's knack for incredibly long game titles, they're also known for their beautiful, handcrafted worlds, environmental storytelling, and engaging gameplay mechanics. Things are quite different this time around, as No Rest for the Wicked marks the team's entry point into the action RPG genre. The game takes place in 841, during a time of unrest where various powers struggle to take control over the throne after the untimely death of the king. You play as a Serum, a member of a group of mystical holy warriors imbued with remarkable powers and sworn to defeat the Pestilence, a deadly plague at any cost. The game has already been previewed by a number of outlets and creators, and all signs point to No Rest for the Wicked being a standout title, which isn't surprising given the developer's history. One notable feature is the use of precision-based combat, which looks to play out like a Souls-like system, but from an isometric view. Nonetheless, this will be a day one pickup for me, as it's a game I truly cannot wait to check out. When this next game, Tales of Kenzera Zhao, was first revealed, I thought to myself, now that's a game to watch. This upcoming Metroidvania instantly captured my attention with its vivid artwork, interesting premise, and really impressive animations. I could tell, just by watching the first trailer, that there was an enormous amount of care put into this game. What I find really interesting about the game is the departure from the norm, the developers who are embracing a different kind of storytelling, one we haven't seen in the gaming space before. You'll play as Zhao, a boy struggling with the death of his late father. Through that journey, you'll enter the treacherous lands of Kenzara, after making a bargain with the god of death. From that point on, you'll have to push forward through mysterious and often deadly lands. With the help of two cosmic masks, the sun and the moon, you'll tap into a wide variety of abilities that manipulate time, enhance Zhao's skills, and ultimately help you explore this enchanting 2.5D world. Tales of Kenzara Zhao is certainly a game worth keeping an eye on. From the creator of Dragon Ball comes Sandland. In this RPG, you play as Beelzebub, the Fiend Prince, and together with a motley crew, you'll explore the vast desert of the world, take out the royal army, and look for the legendary spring. The game's most notable feature is its combat, specifically built around the various vehicles the game is showcased ahead of launch. Players can access up to five vehicles at any one time, and each is fully customizable, which is great given that each vehicle is designed with a certain purpose in mind. Ahead of launch, we've seen some really interesting vehicles, like the Ride Hopper, a walker mech with high jumping powers, as well as the Battle Armor, which excels in close combat with its high attack power and strong armor. The Ezelbub is also perfectly comfortable in a fight, but when it comes to Sandland, the vehicles are the star. Outside of the action, it's pretty clear that Sandland is also driven by an overarching story, and the colorful crew that accompanies Beelzebub throughout the adventure play an integral role in telling that story. Sandland is certainly a different looking game than anything else on our list today, and a title we think a fair number of you will want to check out. A PS5 exclusive, Stellar Blade is a game that has captured the attention of many PlayStation fans. In this story-driven action-adventure game, players will take control of Eve, a warrior whose sole purpose it is to defeat the Natibas, a strange and mysterious enemy that's attacking the human race at will. As Eve explores a post-apocalyptic world, she'll enlist the help of two allies, Lily and Adam, who will both aid Eve on her quest while also fulfilling their own purpose. Where Stellar Blade truly stands out is with its fast-paced action. Looking to take a page out of the Devil May Cry playbook, the melee-dominated combat is flashy and stylistic, which pairs perfectly with the game's over-the-top enemies. As Eve unlocks new abilities and technologies, her melee combat is enhanced with various ranged attacks, which does look to add different dimensions to the fighting. And we expect the skill tree system to certainly expand Eve's kit, but just how impactful all of those systems are to the overall gameplay experience, well, we just can't quite say. 
The game is visually stunning, and I have no doubt Stellar Blade is a game many PlayStation fans are eager to check out. I wanted to end with a quick nod to Songs of Conquest, a game I believe will be leaving early access this April, and a PC title that pays homage to the turn-based strategy games of the 90s. We actually reviewed the game here on the channel when it first released into early access and had an absolute blast with the title, and with a 1.0 launch imminent, I wanted to put it back on your radar. Over the past year, the team has done a lot of work behind the scenes to lay the groundwork for the game's official launch, making improvements to the game's AI, adding gamepad support, and of course, enhancing the gameplay experience with additional storylines and mission experiences. If you have fond memories of playing games like Might and Magic, I highly recommend you support a small team of passionate developers and check out Songs of Conquest. So there you have it, our 10 most anticipated games of April 2024. Let us know if we missed anything that was on your radar and what games you'll be checking out this month. Leave us a comment down below and don't forget to drop a like on the video and consider subscribing. My name is Kodiak and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.